Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. This is episode 3 of Power BI Daily Life Challenges. So in this video, one of uh, the user asked me that how we can include exclude any task from a table that is coming on based on the user selection. So for example, if you can see on my screen, I have a username slicer, then I have two tables. One is for user task, another is the same table, but this table is excluding those tasks. For example, over here, if I'm gonna select the, any username from the slicer panel, then the table first should show the task only related to this user, while the other table should show me all the tasks excluding this user's task. So how we can do that? Let's see. So if I'm selecting AJ, then you can see the first table is just showing me the task for this particular user, while the other table is showing me the task excluding this user. So this is what we have to achieve in this. It took some time for me to figure it out, to be honest, but I hope so in your daily life, you can use this kind of DEX functionality and it's gonna help you. And Vishal, this is specifically for you. If you are watching this video, please leave a comment in the comment section and I hope this is gonna solve your problem. So enough all the talking, let's get started. So what I did, first of all, uh, I created one table over here you can see on my fields pane there is a daily task table now if i'll go in the data view uh, let me show you the data in this table this table just has two columns one is for the username another is for the task name so this task can be any your day-to-day -day work task or any task related to your professional work and the first name is your username so once I created this table, I inserted data myself, but in your case, you can load the data from the database or from anywhere like Excel file or any flat files. After doing that, what I did, I created another table over here, the username table. Let me create again. How did I create this table? What I did, I go to my modeling tab and over here, the new table. You can give it any name like the test table new because i already have a test table that i was testing it out i created for that you can use a values dex function values dex function would give you the distinct value based on any table or the column so you can select any in my case i just needed the usernames because i have to make a disconnected table and then i wanted to utilize those users name in the selection panel or the slicer so what i did i just took the username from my daily task and then simply hit enter once you are gonna hit enter what you will see you will come over here and then there's a test table new click on this one and over here you can see this is your text code on the formula bar and be and below this one you will see this is the username and all the distinct usernames are appearing over here this is the first point that you need to do after that we have to create a dex so that we can get to know which user we are selecting and which we are not selecting so after creating that table now you have to create one dex as well but the logic you have to understand why i need to create that dex whenever i am selecting any user so this should tell me okay this is my selected value and after this selected value i want to create a binary column something like that one or zero which is going to tell me okay this user exists in that table or not and based on that i can apply the dex as a measure into my uh, filter panel so that i can exclude or include values based on that one so let me show you how i did it so the very first i have to create a new page in the new page first let me take this uh, username as my uh, slicer so let's convert this into a slicer here now you can see that I have created a slicer with my usernames the second thing we have to create two tables one for the included user task another for the excluded user task and for both of them we have to use our main table that we have earlier so let me create the visualization based on that let's create for first one and 
different columns in this one now you can see that this is my table where based on my selection I can see the <coughs> selected users are gonna appear but right now nothing is happening reason being it's a disconnected table and there's no relationship between these two table so in order to make the relationship what I'm gonna do I have to create a measure so let's do that so this is my new table in this I'm gonna create new DAX this DAX I'm gonna call include include exclude user and over here now we have to create some variables because creating variable is a kind of a best practice when you are working on DAX and you should always format your DAX as well so the very first variable that I'm gonna create is my selected user so for that you can just write VAR and then the name of that variable and over here initially I'm just gonna use my selected value text function which is gonna give me the value that I'm selected from the username slicer so over here we have the selected value and I can select my username from the table that I have created right now which is my user table new and in the user table new I have my usernames hit enter so right now it's gonna show you the error because I haven't write the return, uh, return statement for this one so let's create another variable before going into this one here I'm gonna take the user values so what I'm gonna do in this second variable I'm creating another table for the list of user values so that I can compare so that my selected username is gonna be in this table list of user values so for that again I'm gonna use the values text function so let me write just values not value it should be values both are different please pay attention over here value and values text function both are different so you should always be about, aware about that one and here we can use either the table name or the column name and our column name again is gonna be same from the daily task table so let me take the username from here and after that we have to write our return statement and in return statement I can use if else statement or you want to use you can use the switch statement as well so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna write if else statement and in the if else statement I'm gonna check whether my user existed in that table or not so for that what I can do I'll write over here selected user which is my variable in my values table which is my user name table in username table if it exists in the username table then it should give me one otherwise it should give me zero and here we go so just hit the enter button or select that right mark or the check mark and your dex is ready now what i need to do if i want to check this so i can expand this filter panel over here inside this filter panel you have to just drag and drop your newly created measure and we are gonna check it for is zero so let me select is zero apply zero means we are checking all those values only which for that user is not existing in this table we are taking all those tasks that are not related to that user so click apply and now if I select AJ now you will see there are all the username and the tasks are there which are not related to AJ that means it's excluding that user so let me do one more thing I need to uh, format this slicer and where I'm not gonna use the control because if you are gonna select the multiple uh, values over here you have to use the control so now uh, I don't need to use the control to check uh, multiple values however if you will use the multiple values you will see all the values are appearing so this is not working right now it's working only for the single select value so if what if you have to work it for multiple values as well before going that there is one more thing so right now this is excluding task one so let me rename it to exclude task and I want to create one more which is for the included task for that I can just copy and paste this one here 
and I can change it to from zero. I can change it from zero to one so that it only includes the user tasks which are for that particular user. And I'm going to rename it as well. Included task. So now you can see this is for include and this is for exclude. Now I have two tables. Now what you have to do to make it correct we have to just work slightly onto our dex measure that we have created because right now it's taking just a single select value what if we have a multiple values i have already created videos on all select and values dex function if you haven't checked our dex series please go and check that you will find link in the description section also all selected somewhere above so please do check that what i need to do instead of selected value i have to select all selected over here and this one also I need to reverse because right now it's checking the selected in username but I have multiple values for that what I can do I can just move it I can cut it from here and I can check now my username table values in my another table that means the multiple values that we are getting paste it over here and just Hit the enter button or click over here and now let's see how it happens so now you can see automatically my slicer i selected two values aj and armor and both values are appearing in my included task one while in excluded these are not appearing if i select suresh if i select suresh vikram then you can see easily only vishal is remaining which is not in over here so guys this is how you can use all selected and selected value measure and values to perform different kinds of action into getting this kind of task done if you have any queries or concern please do let us know i would be more than happy to help you every week i'm gonna try to take one task requested by you users and make a video on that under our power bi daily life challenges video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos